What's up guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of Melican Fishing. Got my man, Two Boy, back behind him. He's making some casts back there because we're here at the pool. We're at the, the Two Boy Suites making casts in the pool. Hope you guys liked the uh, the last Cinco video. I know I got a lot of good feedback on that one. So thank you guys for all the good ideas. One of the best ideas I've had that a couple of you guys also asked for was to do a comparison between a uh, staple, an, an Ozark staple here in the Midwest, one of the best all time crankbaits and to check out some underwater footage because there's a lot of controversy that is behind this guy right here, the wiggle wart. And more importantly, you guys can see the stamp right there. This is a pre Rapala wiggle wart. I don't know when it was, uh, around 1990, I think it was, when Rapala purchased Storm uh, and they started remolding wiggle warts. Well, what happened was supposedly there was imperfections in this original mold, which made this thing freaking hunt like crazy. And therefore it was super, super effective. And they say that the new ones, which Kyle has right here tied on, are not as good of baits. Now, because of that, guys are selling and purchasing these things on eBay and other online retailers. If they're in the right colors, for upwards of a hundred freaking dollars, even some some custom colors and stuff like that um, go really, really high. I would pay good money for this one. This is actually a custom painted by my buddy Casey at Six Sense Lures. This one is absolutely killer looking. But in today's video, we're gonna see if it's worth the money, if it's worth the all the the acc accolades, the, all the acclaim that comes uh, with having a pre repel wiggle wart. And we're gonna test this guy up against a whole bunch of other ones. Let's take a look at what we're gonna use it against. First one I got right here that we're gonna use it against. So we got the pre repel wiggle wart right here, the post repel wiggle wart, so the new wiggle wart. You can go to the store and purchase this wiggle wart right here, made by Storm. This one right here uh, is kind of a different one. This is the Zone Hunter crankbait uh, made by Major Crafts. That's one I've never even tied on. Excited to use that one. This one right here, which has become one of my all time favorite wiggle wart style baits. This is the Six Sense Curve crankbait. Totally different action. Excited to see that one underwater. This guy right here, which is a favorite of many in the game. This is the, uh, the Spro Rock Crawler. I think this is the 55 size. Um, yeah, definitely the 55 size. Got this one right here, which is the, uh, this is actually a blank made by Predator Bass Baits that I personally painted up and I've caught a ton of fish on this one right here. Totally forgot about this one. This is, uh, Kyle had this one in his box. This is a live target right here. This is a cool bait too. I know we both caught fish on this one. All right, so we got a whole bunch of different types of baits we're gonna test. First one I'm gonna throw is that pre-repoggle, repo, the pre-repoggle wiggle wart. And we're gonna check out how some of the action looks, some of the hunting action um, above the water, below the water. And so you guys can kind of see what the hype is all about that bait. I got one that's got some pretty crazy action. So let's check these out. All right, so very first one here is the, uh, the pre-repoggle wiggle wart. Let's take a look at how this guy looks under the water i mean it's an amazing looking paint job on this guy hopefully you can see how cool that is let's take a look at how good it hunts though how, how uh that awesome hunting action it's known for oh man hopefully you guys can see that now we we're kind of messing around with these beforehand underwater and we realized that you want that deflection factor and to see what it does when it deflects but it kind of just wants to slide up the side of the pool since it's nothing like a rock or anything that's going to be jagged or or, or really an obstruction to deflect off the side to but just on a straight reel that's pretty insane you guys can see the side to side it wants to hunt without even hitting anything and the wiggle wart as a lot of you guys know or maybe you don't know if you haven't used it much generally dives to about six to eight feet because i think that's something that's big too we're going to need to talk about with these baits is diving depth because that's one major variable that differentiates the different style of these medium wide wobbling crankbait crawdad style crankbaits that is is diving depth so there it is pure paul wiggle wart thing has ridiculous action underwater goes side to side a bunch without even deflecting and it dives somewhere seven to eight feet again we're going to use the same uh same line type same rods for all these experiments so we're going to use 12 pound fluorocarbon line for every single one of these which is again an important factor line size line diameter line type so as a control, we're gonna use the same everything. Look at that, that thing is ridiculous, the action it has without hitting. And again, really wide wobbling. First one up is the post Rapala wiggle wart. We're gonna run it right next to the pre Rapala. Post Rapala will be on the left side. Um, pre Rapala will be on the right side for all these tests. So there it is right there. Looks exactly the same, but again, made with a little bit different mold, made by a different company. So this is one that's only $3.99 or $4.99 as opposed to the pre Rapala, which even for the cheap ones, the, the crappy colors you have to have repainted, uh, those are like 10 to $15. And then if it's a good color, 40 to $150. So this is the guy right here, post Rapala wiggle wart. 399. 399. Right, so there it is. Hopefully you guys can see that. I got it zoomed quite a ways, but 
pretty damn good above the wall above the deflection object action when it deflects it looks pretty good as well so this has basically identical specs as the pre rapala wiggle wart um i'm noticing a little bit more side to side out of the yeah i agree a little bit more side to side this one is a little bit tighter a little bit more consistent action out of it than the super wide erratic pre rapala but the post rapala gets bites guys this thing it's a good bait even though it's it's something that's i mean not as sought after as the pre rapala still has a great wiggle to it so for 3.99 if you can get them and now they're available in more good looking craw colors than ever I'll link everything I'm using down below and, and go check them out, guys. They're good. All right, so pre Rapala is on the right side, post Rapala is on the left. So, as you can see, it's, it's a wider, it's more erratic pre Rapala, but the post Rapala one still looks freaking good. And one more factor that's super important with these Wiggle Wart style crankbaits um, that we were just talking about, actually, Kyle reminded me, is how fast they rise when you stop them. Here's the pre Rapala. You can see that thing barely goes up, and they have a suspending model too. And you can use lead strips just like a lot of guys do with jerk baits. I do with jerk baits um, to make them suspend. You can do the same thing with wiggle warts, but out of the box, this wiggle wart, uh, all the pre Rapala ones that I have, anyways, just the regular models, not the suspending, will float up and back out of rocks super, super slow. And that's a really, really important characteristic. Definitely a difference. Definitely going side to side way more. Yeah, for sure. There's a difference for sure. A much more. Yeah wider wobbling bait but i was just doing a steady cadence though yeah retrieve speed, which you're supposed to yeah so a retrieve speed again you can make that thing hunt by using your reel handle popping the rod tip so. whereas the pre rapala is so loose and wide that when you pop the rod tip it just wants to kind of spin in circles it doesn't do too much if i were you guys i'd go buy a pre rapala Smack. if you can afford it <laughs> kyle caught the pool buy the pre rapala if you can it. afford it, it. it. In, in a crappy color for cheaper run it in the pool lake whatever's clean see if it works very well if it's got good erratic action and then go spend your money on a paint job by uh, whoever your favorite painter is not me <laughs> i've got time for that shit. all right next one up is the uh six <laughs> cents curve this is one that uh, like i told you guys become one of my favorites made by six cents lures this one is 8.99 retail this one has a totally different action um, than the wiggle ward so although it's like that same type profile it's got a narrower bill and for whatever reason, I don't understand how it's done. They say it's because it's got this ball that goes back and forth on the inside. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. They say that's why it can hunt so well, but it has a super tight action like you want in cold water, but somehow it still hunts really well. So let's take a look at this guy underwater. So as you guys can see, this one is much, much tighter action. So like is kind of the general rule of thumb, um, tighter action in colder water. This guy does it well. Uh, a more erratic action will make it hunt a little bit more, but a lot more consistently running bait than the wiggle wart. Another thing that's different with this bait is running depth. Like we were talking about, running depth is, is kind of crucial with these baits, depending on where you want to fish them. This guy only runs to about six feet, so you're not going to be able to fish it quite as deep as the wiggle wart, but it casts substantially better as well. So a wiggle wart, a lot of times, you know, you're throwing crankbaits on a windblown bank, um, windblown whatever and you're throwing into the wind a lot of times and they throw like a piece of bread a lot of times. It's a bait that has a lot tighter action than the wiggle wart, so it gives them a totally different look. Everyone's been throwing the wiggle warts for friggin' decades, so pulling a crawdad crankbait that's a lot tighter that it deflects and kicks out to the side the same way a wiggle wart does, catches a lot of fish as well. All right, next up is a very popular one. This is the uh, the Rock Crawler. Spro makes it, it's come on the market. I don't know, probably five years ago, and a lot of guys have caught a lot of fish on this guy right here. Let's look at it underwater, and we can see some of the action details of this guy. So the rock crawler is, again, a totally different bait than a wiggle wart. Uh, the main difference for me, and there's two, two main differences is, one, it casts a hell of a lot better. I think it's a five, eight ounce bait. And two, it dives deeper, substantially deeper. You can get this guy down if you're fishing it on a super long cast, you're fishing it on an even lighter line than the 12 pound we're using, you can get this guy down to like 10 to 12 feet even, but consistently you can get this guy down to eight to 10 feet. So that's that's a quite a big difference between the six to eight that you can get the uh, the pre Rapala original wiggle wart. But it definitely looks like it, uh, it floats up a little bit slower too than everything that we've used besides the pre Rapala wiggle wart. We'll have to take a look at that as well. Again, definitely doesn't have the same hunting action above the uh 
the pool in deflection and there it is stuck on the bottom of the pool again because it dives so much deeper this pool is 30 feet deep actually little do you guys know no it's not at all that must be the uh these guys these guys right here talking a little bit huh Kai, you got one next one up for testing is one i've never seen or used before but i saw one actually at the bassmaster classic because this color caught my eye it's the same as like the missouri craw color the old Wigglewort uh, Missouri Croc color that's really, really popular. And this is the uh, Major Craft Zone Hunter. I think it's a Japanese company. Um, I don't know, same same cross style bait. It's got a wider bill, almost like a square bill on it. Let's give it a try, see what it looks like. Definitely has a wider action. Looks pretty good. It'll catch fish. This one is, uh, it's definitely more pricey. It's $9.99, whereas your wick, and it's probably broken now. Nope. Cast good. That's that's important. Casting is huge. And it's one reason why I don't like to throw wiggle warts that much, just because they cast crappy. Slower rise to it. Nice slow rise, probably slower rise than the post Paul wiggle wart. Hopefully you can hear um, the sound of these different baits a little bit as well. Okay, next one up. This is the uh, live target. I don't know what specific model this is. I'm sure one of you guys can uh, figure that out. What was it called? Live target craw thing. Live target craw looking thing with craw eyes. Cool looking paint schemes on them. Uh, like all live targets, really good looking natural baits. Um, I don't know, we'll see. This one's a little bit lighter than uh, some of the previous baits we've tested, only about three eighths of an ounce. I've never thrown this one, but Kyle says he uh, he's thrown it. Sounds like six, seven to nine or 10 feet. Pretty wide range, a um, little bit deeper than the, the Wiggle Wart brand though. So let's see what it looks like underwater. Well, it definitely gets down. You're right. Super, super slow rise to it too not quite as wide as the pre-rapala maybe in between the wideness of the pre and post rapala wiggle wart hunts pretty good i know this was one when it came out i was just telling kyle a lot of guys use this in the ozarks and and liked this one when it came out price points a little higher i think it's what 11.99 12.99 somewhere in there so this is the most expensive bait um that we've tested today except for the pre-rapala wiggle wart which if you get a craw color of those generally going to run in the $40 range on eBay. See, it has a super, super flat lip to it. Mm -hmm. um, now, when in rocks I've found, this doesn't actually hunt quite as good as the wiggle wart with a little bit more rounded lip. Right, right. Because the wiggle wart will want to uh, jut out from the right to the left a little bit more than this particular one. Now on the bottom of this flat pool, it's hunting really good because it's, it's nice and flat. So that's, it can go either yeah, way. Yeah, a great observation. So what you always see in the pool isn't always what you get just exactly. from personal experience. Exactly. All right, last but certainly not least, this one's kind of a fun one right here. This is uh, a mold that a company actually made. This was a blank bait uh, from a company called Predator Custom Baits. And this is a bait that I personally painted, but this mold was made to be identical to the pre Paul wiggle wart. A lot of guys were uh, asking for it, so they made the mold and the sound, uh, the rattles inside, identical to the pre Paul wiggle wart. Um, now, whether you can get the action right, that's up to you guys, but if you're a custom lure painter, a lot of guys are curious what the action is like on this guy, and for, I think they're $2 a piece, and then you paint them, of course, and throw hardware on them, but this is the cheapest one you can purchase, um, minus all the, the hardware and the paint and the time you gotta put into it. But let's take a look at how it looks underwater. Hopefully you guys can see these underwater at all. I mean, in my opinion, I've looked at it next to, of course, no, every bait is different, of course, especially with these wiggle wart style baits, but it's as close to the pre Rapal wiggle wart as I've personally seen. But as Kyle just said, does not have some of the same important characteristics like that super, super slow rise. It rises about exactly the same as a post Rapal wiggle wart, about that same exact speed. Action seems to be pretty much on par, would you say, with the pre Paul Wiggle Wart? So. Probably close, if not the same. Like we said, this exact same blank does not cast that well. The weight's the same as the pre and post Paul Wiggle Wart, right at three eighths of an ounce. Action for a blank is as good as you're gonna get. And again, I will link everything down below if you guys are a custom lure painter, you just wanna purchase some of these for someone out there to go paint. Yeah, that's, that's as good a bait as you're gonna see as far as a uh, a knockoff blank that thing looks money all right so like we we're saying you can you can adjust the weights on these guys so this is how we both do this this is how you can adjust the weight make it heavier so it floats up a little bit slower yeah so i mean i'm i don't like spending 50 dollars on a crankbait no um i've caught a ton of fish on these post rapala wiggle warts they're 3.99 there's a ton of different color schemes out there but one thing i do i 
A, first, always change the hooks out on these. The they hooks suck. that come with them are absolute garbage. You'll lose a lot of fish. Um, so I put some some different hooks on there. I think this is a uh, an owner. I don't remember what kind, but yeah, it's, it looks it's, like a lot, a... it's a lot heavier than yeah. a stock hook. Yep. And then I do a wide gap in Trip, the back. Yeah, triple um, grip style. Yep, really notice a better hookup ratio on that. Uh, the other thing I'll do is put these two lead strips right on the belly. Now you want to make sure they're perfectly even from side to side, otherwise it will make the bait run differently. Um, another thing, this one I haven't done it to yet, but these things come off really easy after you're banging them into rocks a mm -hmm. whole lot. A little bit of clear nail polish over it typically does the trick there. So mm -hmm. just a real cheap way to turn a, a cheaper bait yeah it's into, an into you know something that's not quite as good as the the pre rapala right. stuff but Close. You know, i've caught a ton a ton of fish as you can see on this guy it's been chewed thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you learned and saw some things in the underwater footage and overhead footage that maybe you didn't know about these baits previously they all will catch fish these all looked like good solid baits um, but there are minor differences, little minute differences between the action, the castability, the, the rise level, the noise um, that, that make these baits, some of them work much, much better than others. Hopefully you saw maybe why the pre Rapala Wiggle Wart uh, has that insane action, even though it's very, very uh, inconsistent action between the different types of baits. Hopefully you saw that one that I've caught a lot of fish on in the past. What makes that bait so successful? You know, the, the great thing is though, there's a lot of other alternatives in the market. The poster Paula Wiggle Wart, you have to make some, some hook changes, some, some weighting changes and stuff, but it's a very good bait. That six cents one, the curve, I've been throwing that a ton. You guys saw me throw that last winter. It's a freaking killer. It catches a ton of fish. And as far as castability in a deeper running bait, that Spro Rock Crawler is very, very tough to beat. I'll link everything down below for you guys to go check out. Remember, if you want to go pick up that six cents curve, you can use my promo code MF10 to save some money on that, get it cheaper than anywhere else. And most importantly, leave a comment down below. Let me know the, the, the experiences that you guys have had with these different types of baits, all these different medium diving crawfish looking crankbaits because they're killers. And I'd love to hear some feedback from you guys. Thank you for watching this video though. Catch you very soon. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I can't stop with a love like mine.